Today we're going to be reviewing and installing these LED tail light bulbs from MyLED.com. Here's what the packaging looks like. It does ship from China, so it's not a retail package. Everything is in Chinese. If I open it up here, I get the LED bulb. It is a 7443 T20 style wedge bulb. As you can see, the body of it is aluminum and the base of it is plastic. And it's got four SMD LEDs going around the sides, as well as a projector beam style LED at the top. Also, the new LED claims to consume only 7.5 watts, while the old incandescent bulb consumes 21 watts. So this should produce a lot less heat. I'm going to be replacing this bulb right here, which is my tail light bulb as well as a brake light bulb. That's why I need a dual filament 7443 bulb instead of the 7440 bulb, which is just a single filament, to act as both lights. I'm also using a red LED instead of a white LED. If I use a white LED, it would show pink through this housing instead of red. Now installing this new LED bulb is pretty simple. There's an access panel here for the tail lights. I'm just going to reach in with my two fingers, pull off the tabs, and remove that cover. Then reach into the brake light bulb, twist it, pull it out. Then I can remove the old bulb, and install the new bulb. Now here's what the LED bulb looks like beside the standard incandescent bulb. As you can see, it's almost double the length, so you got to make sure that this LED bulb will fit in the housing that you want it to. Now at this point, before you plug the bulb back in, you want to make sure the polarity is correct, so we're going to test the bulb. One of the downsides of having LED taillight bulbs is as soon as you step on the brake, the bulb warning light will come on on the dashboard. It thinks that a bulb has been blown. What you could do is go on the dashboard and disable that bulb, or just choose to ignore it altogether. Next I'm going to reinsert the bulb into the socket and twist it closed and then replace the access panel. Finally we're going to do a daytime comparison of the lights. This side here has the LED brake light and that side there has the normal standard incandescent brake light. And here's a shot of the tail lights at night. As you can see the LED bulb in the left light is significantly brighter than the incandescent bulb in the right light. And here's a shot of the brake lights. And here's a shot driving from a distance. And here's a look at the brake lights from a distance. As you can see, the right incandescent light is actually a little bit brighter than the LED tail light on the left. So tables have turned now that the brake lights are on. Although you can see the LED light actually has a redder look compared to the incandescent light, which is a tad more pink. One more thing you'll notice is that the LED light throws a lot more light on the ground due to its distribution, whereas the incandescent light throws a lot more light behind the vehicle. Here's a shot of the brake lights against a white garage door. As you can see on the right side here, the LED's focal point is a lot higher compared to the incandescent light, which is less useful in traffic. So in conclusion, LED versus incandescent light. As you saw, the LED light was a little bit brighter as a tail light. However, the incandescent light produced a much better light output in the stock housings, especially as a brake light. So therefore, the only advantage to having the LED light is a faster transient time when you step on the brakes, which increases safety. Now as for longevity, LEDs are supposed to outlast incandescent lights. I've had these lights in for about two weeks, and the only problem I've had is that stupid light on the dashboard. 